I think the first time we ever had a big issue, eh, that was a drama. I just packed. Yani, I think he, he came home, iso tu ma, ma, ma three o'clock, which yes. he says is good time. Yeah. Good time, <laughs> 3 a.m. ni time ya shetani. So I don't know what good time is, you know. So, nikamwambia by the way, eh, it's been real, knowing you. Hey. Mimi nika pack, nili pack mbaka, packa. Mbaka, yani, hakuna kitu siku wata hapo. Yani, I was... Nika, 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 nika kwa pick up, nika rudi home. Uwe, baba yangu ni nani? Wa! Ghetto man. Hey! <laughs> Aninebe, what? Do you know the biggest wedding? Yani, paka sa hiyo wedding is being talked about. Utarudi kwa bwani. Do you know my dad kicked me out? Every year, I would fast for him. Oh. Every year, one month, I would take to pray for my husband. Kwa sa selling God, aki uliniambia undu, undu, saitan. Yani, see you just batilishai. Yani, I would write letters to God. You fasted for him every year for 15 years. Every year, there's a specific month I would take to just pray for his salvation for 15 years and i would write notes and i have by the those notes i would write letters to god i say god you told me this is my husband why don't you change him because my desire has been to serve god together with my family you yes. see so when he got saved i was not there sikuwa service i was away so when i came he told me eh by the way i have something to tell you i got saved wow you know me the time a young guy remember by the mimi ukipa tu chance Mine za kushow vitu zingine sana hajai kushow. Niliwambia tu get the behind Satan. Mtoto mdoto umemwacha na 15 years. So these things are there. They are real. Hata ukiwe 70, hata uwe 80, utapata ngatu ka kalok, kalokas. Yes. Kamekuja. Yes. But mm. it remains on how solidified you are. You are you are union. How is. aware aware you are and how strong your union your is. Union. Yes. Hello and a warm welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, there's something I heard and it was said by one of my guests today. The people who are in marriage want to walk out and those who are not want to get into marriage. Uh, but as I bring you this very amazing story, I want you to know that it has not all been roses. My guest today, she has fucked 12 times, ready to leave her husband. And she has also served him divorce papers twice. So why are they still together? And why does the man maintain that it is his duty to build his house and not to break it? I'm about to let them introduce themselves. But before I do that, allow me, of course, to say thank you to my people at Elegance Fashion Kenya for dressing your girl. I hope you guys love the dress today. And if you do, their contact details are right here on the screen you can place an order and please let them know that lean appreciates them and now without further ado please allow me to let my guests today introduce themselves good morning good, good morning. morning how are you thank you <laughs> good. Salama. Kabisa. looking thank you good much. thank you very thank much you. You this is what each and every one of us is praying for you know we oh, want amen. we want this amen. perfect picture but we also understand that it doesn't come easy, mm -hmm. that it takes a lot of work. Yes. So even as my audience are looking at you guys as couple goals, as marriage goals, as everything, mm -hmm. I want them to understand that it has not all been roses. But I also want to say thank you so much for coming. And I say every time I get an opportunity mm -hmm. to bring my audience marriages that are working, mm -hmm. to show people that marriages do not suck. Because we've had people say marriages suck. I don't even want to be married men are like this women are like this mm -hmm. whenever i bring i find people who are able to show them a complete different picture it warms my heart mm -hmm. so i just want to let you guys I, to know that this is really special even for me even as we continue to add value to our audience yeah na kabla niendele kuongea sana please introduce yourselves <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Santi Sana Lin. Uh, it is really humbling to be here yeah. with you and um, just talking about life, doing life. Mm -hmm. I always say anything you talk about um, has an ability to change someone. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, before I get into so much, uh, yeah. my name is Venus Chengo. Yeah. My first role is I am an amazing wife yes. to this very handsome young man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, called uh, Santo. He'll introduce himself. Yes. Um, other than that, I wear many hats. Yeah. Um, I am a mediator for the Supreme High Court. Okay. I also do counseling. 
So I'm all about also mental health and oh. mental health has to do also with relationships, with, you know, everything that is going on about in this world today. Yeah. And uh, above that, I'm also a life coach. Mm -hmm. So counseling and life coaching normally, you know, go hand in hand. Because sometimes someone will come to you, you listen to them, but you realize it's not really Maninoya counseling. It's yes. about just someone to mentor them and to help them grow. Because mm -hmm. in us are very good seeds that God put in us yes. so that we can come out and manifest mm -hmm. at a level of growth. Yeah. Yes. I'm also a mother to three. Um, our firstborn is 22, headed 23. Guy. Our second born, uh, firstborn is a, a boy. Yes. Now he's a man. Because yes. Niwale Mandevu and all that. So oh. fashion squeezy. Be eh, again. Eh, eh. <laughs> soft be yes. Yeah. Second born is 16, headed 17. Yes. A, a girl. And then we have our last born who's uh, turning 13. Yes. Yes. Wow. So yes. you are a, you are an incredible mom. You wear so many hats, Very and many. also we are allowed to say we love how you look because I love everything about oh, you. Oh, thank you. I love this your beauty hair style. is oh. about God. Amen. I am a child of God. <laughs> yes. I am a firm believer. Yeah. That there is a spiritual power that influences who we become, and that is my source. Yeah. That secret corner of prayer. Yeah. Yes. That secret corner. Yes. Oh my, we love you. Yes. Look at how he's looking <laughs> at you. As if he's hearing you talk for the first time, Mr. Santos. Oh, yes. Yeah. I enjoyed talking. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what has also helped us come this far. Mm -hmm. um, we've known each other almost 20 years. Yeah. And that was almost half our lives. And most of it, we have spent it married. Mm. Um... To introduce myself, uh, first of all, let me just say, I'm a child of God. And um, that's another story how I got there, but it's very interesting, thanks to her. Oh. Uh, many prayers and fasting. Yes. Uh, I discovered Jesus, uh, which I'm very proud about. Mm -hmm. But my name is Santo Chengo. I also have, I don't know, not so many hearts as she does. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm an aviator, uh, work for a leading airline. I'm also a trainer, yeah. uh, which... Uh, is very ironical because when I was in campus, I tried running away from teaching because mm -hmm. I was called for B.E.D. Yeah. and I, I couldn't picture myself teaching. Yes. What but did you want to do? Anything else other than teaching. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up changing my course mm -hmm. to Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Yeah. Uh, then f God does really work in mysterious ways. Yeah. And you can't run away from your purpose. And I found myself back into training, yeah. which I discovered was I'm very passionate about. Yes. Uh, then I also uh, recently took over leadership in a group of uh, men. Yeah. Uh, it's called Muscles Men's Fellowship. Muscles uh, Men's Fellowship. Fellowship. Yeah. yeah. It's a group of men from all walks of life uh -huh. in this country. Yeah. 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 You have politicians. You have artists. Yes. You have entrepreneurs, yeah. you name it, yeah. are all what, in that. What, what do you guys do there? Because it's muscles, uh, it's, it's, no, uh, Okay, oh, the, name, it, uh, the name <laughs> oh, no, the name, is very misleading, yeah. but it's, it's, a, it's, it's a safe space for all men to find. Yeah. Uh, it's basically getting broken men and trying to repair them and, you know, uh, make them perfect. Okay, not perfect, but make them well so that they can lead well. Because remember, in society, the men are the heads. Mm -hmm. And without uh, a man who is, who has things right in his life, yeah. then he can't lead a family or lead, be a leader in society. Absolutely. Yes. So I, mm -hmm. we try and get broken men and try help them, and lift them up. Okay. Um, and our one of our, our our mantra is leave no man behind. Oh. Yeah. So we kind of help during COVID. You know, many people lost their jobs, especially men. Yes. And men don't speak up, so quite a number of men were struggling. So what we're doing is we're we're giving we're giving um, men. vouchers yes. and uh, hampers of, for food for families. Wow! 
and just to make them through through that period. Yeah, yeah. that's an incredible initiative because, as you said, men don't speak. Yes. You know, we just started a new show here. It's called The Men's Desk. Okay. Uh, it's hosted by uh, Joshua J. Karanja. And mm-hmm. you can tell that men want to speak, yes. but then they don't feel like they have a, sp- a safe space for them to be able to speak. So I hope we can even collaborate further oh, yes. so that we are able to build uh, the nations together. But all in all, Certainly. an amazing initiative. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, how? Yeah, so other than that, I also have um, a Bible study. Okay. Uh, by default, it, I, I, I got to now to run it with a friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, the, the pastor who was uh, leading it yeah. was a very close friend of mine who I also met in Muscles. Yes. He was part of the leadership and then we came very close. So during COVID, we uh, would walk, do walks every morning. Mm-hmm. Then he would give us so much advice about life, but in connection with the Bible. Then we thought, yeah. why don't you share this with so many people? Because he had so much wisdom. Eh? Uh, and what he shared is not what you'll probably get in church. Mm. So that's how uh, it's called Word Wealth. That's how it was born. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then unfortunately, we lost him last year to, to COVID. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, very, very sad in March. And then uh, the default, uh, his you baby mean. was left into our hands. Yeah. And we thought, and it's only fair that we ensure that that legacy goes on yes. yeah so we've been running with it it's now it's going to be uh, over one year yeah yeah uh, it's going to be two years yes in october wow. since it was formed yeah yeah yes. congratulations yes. for that uh, that's that's okay yes. i was not expecting those details oh. but they warm my heart i yes. want our men to know they have a safe space oh yes because the, as i said the shows i do sometimes you mm. know we are so broken and men are also so broken and i know it's easy for us to feel mercy and sad for women but we don't want our men to feel like they've been forgotten or like no one cares about them you know mm. so that's an incredible initiative mm. and as i said let us know how best we can collaborate, collaborate. trust you me they are watching and they appreciate trust, yeah. that we have such initiatives around men mm. yes now now uh, of course you are sitting here lovely couple well spoken well articulated and most people would wonder you've said you've spent like half of your life together you are 20 years into marriage those mm. are like uh, how many years legally married mm. 18 18 18 21 20, so 20, you are 21 yes. years now but now 18 in marriage yeah 18 years 18 yeah, years legally, legally married. Uh, married and uh, three years uh, in courtship uh? yes. so we want to know like first because uh, every story has a beginning mm-hmm. how did you guys meet uh, mm-hmm. to a point where you know when i heard that someone has served another person divorce papers <laughs> via email <laughs> i was like why who does that and why to know she has fucked even you say 12 times she's yeah. fucked 12 times and she has wanted to leave you a couple of times yes. and then to see you guys sitting here it's such a hopeful thing so maybe can you take us through how you met to how you wanted to leave each other to how you are still <laughs> with each other now do you want the short version or the long version okay give us the medium version <laughs> uh, there's no medium i have the short she yes. has the long one no we want the long version <laughs> Director, uh, no can we hear though, the yeah. long version? <laughs> we want the long version. Thank you. Oh yes. my, I yeah. love talking. So yes. you just better tell me when to stop. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, um, yeah. It's amazing that we sit here. And one mm-hmm. thing that I would like to say Lynn, yeah. is that no one is perfect mm-hmm. and no relationship is perfect. Yeah. The only person I know who is perfect is God. And um, the reason why we meet people and the reason why we walk through the paths that we walk in in, in life mm. is because God is someone who loves to change and to grow. So anyone you meet, including my meeting him, was part of the plan of God. But in between the journey, there's been some challenges mm-hmm. that has also changed me through the pain and made me a better person. Mm-hmm. So I met him. We, we, we work for the same company. Yes. So I met him the first day when I was reporting to work. And I was like, I told dark and handsome. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. I was like, but he was, he really caught my eyes. So um, we engaged, but 
in the beginning when we you know when we started off he used to find me very you know i think more gonna he look intimidating a man okay just feedback they, from people there is a name if for it but me, we can't say it yeah, here if, yeah. if you don't know me you think i'm all you know about myself and all that but it's do just, people think you're intimidating Yes they do. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes, people actually think I am in the intimidating. That's yeah. because I'm a makeup because I'm a girl girl. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yes, that is just who I am. Yeah. But as we moved along, we kind of gelled. Now yeah. the interesting thing is that we became best friends. When we started talking, we really synergized and we became best friends. So he was my, you know, good to go person. Yeah. I would tell him anything about and we talk every day every day every day yes he wouldn't sleep without calling me yeah but me wanga kichwa ngumu let me tell you ata you know it was you know ku pack and it took kichwa ngumu yes i think it's just part of the environment i carried from my gate to life yes. but um yeah so um when he told me he wanted to marry me ata ngi check i was yeah. like my god you know because I, i was in this very interesting place in my life where i was hurting i didn't trust men So I'm like who is this guy to think that he can actually you know live with me you know He said he was going to marry you Yes he told me After how and long? he proposed on my birthday Um at I think six months down the line hey. It was very fast and furious Yes <laughs> like, Wait well, yeah. like you know Subaru Subaru boys Subaru in my car me me drop him Me sha you know Yeah Yes but um one thing that I can say about me I yeah. really I really ask and refer to God mm-hmm. I Every every decision I make, imagine I have to ask God in prayer. And that is how I've been brought up. Yeah. So I asked God, "Sasa, this guy, eh, unaona aje?" And I really spent time a whole week praying. And God spoke and he said, "This is your man." Now, let me just say this. When I met him, oh, you say alikuwa monomaris. Eh, mambo mbaya. He's uh, dif- yeah, what, what would I say? His his happy place was, you know, drinking nini. Oh! Nini in church. So, you know, the times when you look at the Bible and say, "Eh, I you king." So, I was like, that God, aki unezaje ndete mtu kama." You know, because me I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll get married to a pastor yes. or that. <laughs> yes. So, when God is telling me, yes, "So you you're in yes, church, yes, yes. your guy is on whiskey on rocks." Who you? My God. Can I what a tuni to boy? So, I think wedding na itakulala. Hiyo ndio tu Alikijana macho re, yani I, the company wrong company. I think they were out bachelor's party I think back at 3. Na 7 ndio tunaanza wedding. Hey. So <laughs> aki, I'm telling you mungu kupitisha. But uh, all in all I yeah. trusted the process. Yes. We got married and uh, I think just immediately after marriage we got a surprise baby. Yes, uh, that's yeah. our second born. Yeah. Uh, Rihanna. Um and we started la- doing life together. <laughs> yes, I don't know kama nitasimamia hapo but sasa hapo ndio changamoto inaanza, yes. you know. Inaanza. Yeah, you're there, you're trying to, you know, um kind of like stabilize. So you said you got the domes coming, checking, yeah. my boys wana muita. Okay. Aje ama napigia my boys. Yeah. Aje chana huyo dem come. Yes. Come to. Yeah anaenda. Yeah. So he's out drinking with his friends. Mimi amuku trying to pray but maombi haikuji. Yeah. No. Because <laughs> mwanaume yuko kwa nyumba. You know so you are like a god. You just crying god. Huyu mtu si chaki kiboko moja. You yes. know. So he would come in midnight 3 a.m. Say so, mimi nimeamka kuomba the guy is checking in. Ah. Hey, one day I just locked that door ni kama mimi tarudi kwa hiyo ba. Una ukamfungia mlango hapa wingi. Eh. Because kuna watoto hapa our first born is a son utamfundisha the same thing and this is something that i tell couples you may not really tell your child that don't go and drink or don't do one two three things but they mirror you remember children are observers exactly at a, you know girls if their dad is an abusive dad they will get attracted to two abusive things can happen men. to abusive men or go to the extreme to wale waongeange or wasemange anything so i really wanted to defend the children yes so one day i just asked him by the way what do you think when you come here you know those hours <laughs> even though he was not at the staggering type yeah what do you think you're living in the hearts of our children pause, do you really pause there you know, pause there do you really so mm. well, go to rudy you 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 are dating a church girl yes you are dating a woman who knows where she wants to go 
she's attracted to you mm. she's praying her you know god is telling her yeah that's your man but the man god is talking to her about uh, is the kind of guy who is into you know alcohol I'm not saying it's bad but he's into alcohol and you've said i do you've married her but why is it that you are attracted to her and your behaviors were completely opposite what was it that you how she said she saw so tall dark and had some you what did you see so like she said uh, yeah. at some point at the beginning first of all on a very short version yes. of some this time fact <laughs> has was really short when i saw her mm. i first like she said i i just felt she was full of herself i couldn't just but um later actually later, i think last year was it early this year yeah. i realized i think i had fear she was very intimidating but being a man i just i figured she was full of herself all right but if you get to know her, she's a very very good person she has yeah. so very many friends who just you know and 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 that's kind of person because once you yes. get to know her yeah. uh, she, uh and you gel yes. she becomes a very very good friend uh-huh. yeah. yeah she'll do anything and everything for you okay so with time that 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 wall broke down so we started becoming friends we used to hang out together all the time yeah so we got got to know each other we became very close and to be honest i never thought i'd be the settling kind of person but again and i, I cuz now I'm, i'm i'm very aware of myself and god god had a plan because he put this in me this is your wife this is your wife this is your wife mm. it didn't matter where i was mm-hmm. that was the last thing on my mind um, yeah. she's she's a church girl me i'm i'm still in the world yes it didn't stop yeah then but and I, and i proposed um of course she, she didn't expect it but luckily for me she said yes uh we actually planned our wedding on our own no one was involved we didn't have do a committee ni 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 uh between work would we'll do everything and all that yeah eventually got married as she says then uh, of course you know you always think uh, that things will change i think that's what she said things will change after after but for me it's it starts it slowly said changing uh, when we got the sec our second born the girl yeah um like she said i don't think they've never seen me drinking uh but i remember there's once i walked in home at 6 a.m. a.m. yeah a.m. The, yes a.m. <laughs> and the person who opened my door was my daughter oh. and the first thing she asked me dad where are you from i think that 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 question up to today played in my head and i said ah there's something wrong here and you were drunk Yes but you see like she has not those people who stagger and all that but you are But drunk. yes if you if you know I was yes. yes let's say let's, let's say as intoxicated Yes and um I think that's w- that's where the shift began mm-hmm. I think that's where God side yeah. working on me Yeah and it's it began there then slowly of course I'll not go out so much I'll probably go out when I'm away from yeah. home Yeah yeah uh but whenever I'm at home of course even if I go out I'm back in good time. In good time. Yes. And no. mm-hmm. yes, so yeah, we went uh so it it went like that and of course uh as we move on of course every marriage has its it's 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 downside. Yes. Yes. Let's go to the down. You see, <laughs> <when> <laughs> yes. You've you've been married, you know you are like God, thank you for this wedding. Yes. Thank you for giving me a husband because mm. this is the part where I want us to address. Mm. He said something important. People go into marriage expecting things will change. Mm. Even if the man that I have married is not so good, mm. but the moment we get into marriage, mm. he will see now here we are married, we have kids, he will stop doing whatever mm-hmm. it is that he's doing mm. and things will fall in mm. order was that your perception of marriage yes it was mm-hmm. but i came to realize that uh, you know the you be told that marriage is a bed of roses uh-huh. but what we don't know is that the thorns are more are many than the roses that you see uh-huh. you understand and um just like we you know you see athletes you know running uh, on the track and you know they have to jump over hurdles it's the same thing unamaliza na ithon unaanza na infidelity sijui alcoholism there are those hurdles that you must go and that mm. is what we call the drama stage yeah when you're caught in 
it's the honeymoon stage. That is where you meet, you're very attracted, everything is about intimacy, you're just synergized. But when now you settle, remember this person, you're seeing them daily, you're beginning to see their flaws. Yes. You know, like now, you know, I, I he actually got me from home. I have never lived alone. Okay. So, I mean, you know, we never used to live together, but when we moved in, my God, you know, <laughs> supplies, you know, yes. like my God, you know, very Prince clean. Charming <laughs> has become, you know, Saito, you know, but... <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, you, you, you kind of like, you know, life is about flexibility and yes. adaptability. Yeah. But it was so hard because I was young. I met him when I was 21. So I'm here, I'm still growing and I have a man that is my husband that I also need to adjust with and to. Mm. So things became tough. First of all, I felt it was me. You know, when you're going through issues. The first person to doubt is yourself. Yes, sir. And it is, I can say this to any woman who's listening to my voice right now, that sometimes it can mess up with your self-esteem. So I started realizing, I am a maybe mimi ndio nikona shida. Because if this guy is going and coming home at six, maybe mimi ndio nikona shida. Maybe I'm too speedy. So at some point, he had even tried to, maybe I had to come to my wine, you know, maybe, you know, fungua roho. <laughs> Mimi, by the allergy, or alcohol, I said, one day I told him, by the way, let me tell you, Mimi, you found me, and that's why I want, to, I don't want to change my life. I want to serve God. So you ni to wake up. Because every time, it will be drama. Mara, I'm puking, I can't. I can't. Watch out, let me be Oh, he even made you taste. Yeah, he... he <laughs> see once, see twice. You yes. know, just trying it, baby. You know, and you're trying. You know, you're trying to change so yes. that you can please the other person. Oh. So it interferes with how you view yourself, self perception. Kidogo, kidogo, and this is where now I started doing counseling because I was thinking, okay, baby, ni mimi. So let me go to school. I understand myself. Unona, maybe it's my environment from childhood. You know, all these things that you listen to and you say maybe they're interfering. Yeah. You know, and making you behave in a certain yeah. way. So I joined school. But as we as 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 we grew on, I realized that both of us had a role to play in every issue that we had. So I think the first time we ever had a big issue, eh, that was a drama. I just packed. Yani, I think he, he came home is two ma three o'clock, which yes. he says is good time. Yeah. Good time, <laughs> three a.m. ni time shetani. So I don't know what good time is, you know. So I was so annoyed. I was like, up till when are we going to go through this? Yes. Mimi, I'm, mimi choka. And what explanation is he giving you when he comes? Akuna sinajua ni maboyes wa memuita. Me, I used to know who he's hanging out with. Yes. You know, toxic friends. You yeah. know, people who, you, even when you look at how, you know, they run, you know, themselves and all that. So, nikamambia, by the way, uh, it's been real. Knowing you. Hey. Mimi nika pack. Nili pack mbaka paka. Mbaka, yani, akuna kitu siku wata hapo. Yani, I was... Do you know the biggest wedding? Yani, paka sahi your wedding is being talked about. Utarudi kwa Do you know my dad kicked me out? Oh. Alinebia, in our Kenyan, in our tradition, African tradition, mwana mke atokangi kwake. You will go back. No, Karen. Sama mkia kuingenda. Nitenda wapi hey. ni? Sina nyumba ingine. Yes. I cannot go and start interfering with my siblings. Yes. So apo tu, I cried. That day, nakobea nililia macho zibijifunga. And you had kids here. Yeah. You had, I had now, I had two you, children you are then. Your first born and your second born. Yes. Umewabeba pia. Pets. <laughs> <laughs> ya ni nile nimecha nime sumatu. It's been real. It's been real. You know. So, um... Luckily, he had really been looking for me. Yes. Kwa menda huma kanikosa. Yeah. Now that, my, that time, by the time I was arriving there, my dad had already kicked me out. So, yes. I, I got home. That time, we used to live in Karen. Yeah. I came here, can you be welcome? Yani, unajua hile tu, unasikia, yani, you know, kiroho tu kiko hivi. I just, yes. mika mpita, I went. I didn't say anything. Yeah. I cried the entire night. So, we began now again uh, mending the relationship. Yes. And as I say, the thorns have been there. Yes. And even now, as we mature, because it's almost 50. Yes. I'm in my mid 40s. Yes. The tones are there, but it is about the commitment and how intentional you are. Tunakuja kwa commitment. Eh. Ame toka, ame enda. <laughs> Babake ame mrudisha. Ame rudi kwako. Mm. Are you worried? She's actually packed and she left. Like this woman is not now joking. I'm about to lose my wife. Are you worried? Ama uko zile za si yako ende? No, no, of course. Every time it's 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 not a good thing. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. 
Um, in fact, that one I remember I came when I got home. The only person who was there was the houseboy. So I sang it. Oh, fuck, houseboy! What are you actually? She went for a few days. So they look what it's in between the air and the umbra. The whole house. Uh, but yes, all the times has been very stressful. It is, um, and 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 like I said earlier, you know, as men, um, other people will not know what you're going through. You go through that alone. I don't think even anyone knew most of this drama that I went was going through. And um, I think also what was a turning point in terms of what has helped us is we we joined. Uh, um, a, a, yeah, it's called our marriage enrichment group which I think really, really helped us during that time. I think we needed it. Um, because in that group, we had we had couples who were in their 50s, and then we had those who had just married a year, and those some 10 years. Mm. So it was, you, you could, we came to realize that this is common mm. in every marriage. Mm. But there's a way, you, there's a way to handle it. Yes. And you can keep it. Yeah. And it really, really helped us at that time. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it, it you know there are seasons for everything. Yes. So it lasted a certain season, yeah. and then we realize now, yeah, we had grown it, and needed to move on. We needed now to stand on our own feet because mm-hmm. you can't keep on depending on other people to mm-hmm. sort out your problems. Yes. And realize now, okay, we need to sort our problems yeah. whenever they, uh, they come. Yeah. So we tried, uh, we've tried that, we tried that. Then at some point, you know, you get to a point where now, uh-uh, now you both can't. Then now we got a mentor couple. Yes. And the, 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 the pastor who passed away was one of them. Yeah. And and they, they help. So every season there has been, that will also be probably one of our secrets that has made us last all this time. But mm. at every point we realize mm. that we cannot do it alone. And for us, we believe it's God who has sent, sent all these people to rescue this marriage. marriage because he had a great purpose for it. For it. Mm. And probably that's why mm. we even seated here yes, on your today. show today. Because God intentionally did all that. Because he knew he knew would be here today. Mm. Yeah. So wow. that we encourage others. Yes. But also not lie to others. Because you see at times, especially now that there's a lot of social media. Mm. You know, people paint that it's you know the good side. Mm. People never talk about the bad the side. Bad of marriage. Really, yes, of marriage or anything. When you see that you can see people are going like now mental wellness mm-hmm. that she's doing. Yes. It's become real. But what you see out there on social media, if you take your phone right now, mm-hmm. You'll see people, very good photos, mm. well-dressed, yeah. you know, saying good things, yes. but they're suffering. Then a day or two later, you find this person mm. yeah. committed suicide. I There's know. no more. I know. So it's very sad. So for us, uh, I think we, when we realized at some point, we realized that really God is part of this marriage. Yeah. And we've always known that. He's the third strand mm. and he's the glue that has held us to get to where we are, to where to you are. it has nothing to do with yes. me and her. Yeah. The only thing we've become in is we've accepted mm. him and invited him to be part of this match. Yes. Mm. yes. Let's talk about the imperfections mm-hmm. because she said your faults. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, she said the problems mm. she had with you were mainly because you felt it's like you did not care. Mm. Whatever time you feel like you want to show up, you show mm. up at mm. home. Mm. For her, what was it that you what would you say her faults were because again we live in a world where mm-hmm. every time you sit with a woman let's today find out ukweli kama pia mabibi tunakuanga na shida yeye alikuwa na shida gani you know uh, when we were doing the when we were in Doha, yeah. the, the large group we yes. were about 12 or 13 couples mm-hmm. yeah. we did something that was very interesting about personalities yes yeah now, when I got to know my personality and her personality, it was, a, it was an eye-opening uh, discussion and topic. Mm. Yeah. And I came to realize that our personalities had a major um, mm. role mm-hmm. in most of our uh, disagreements. Mm. Yes. She's, she's a choleric. Hey. Um, <laughs> yes. Drama yes. in you. So she's, you know, she's very dramatic. Yes. Uh, she'll, anything, however mm. small, uh, we've blown out of proportion. For yeah. me, I'm a phlegmatic. Yes. I oh. really had strife. I had confrontation. So what happens is, whenever there is, but then you'll find like you see all this, mm. even this sparking and all that, mm. it starts from something very small. <laughs> and then it blows out of it proportion. Blows because what happens is, being being a phleg, 
I go into my man cave. And I know people have heard that. You've heard it. Yeah. Uh, it's a man cave. And basically, it's somewhere. It's for us. And it's not that we, we just, it's not that we are just there waiting for the environment outside to be, you feel that it's safe to come out. Yes. And you, she can listen, you know. Talk, talk to our men but about yes. this. Talk to them about the men. No, no, no. Men, men know. Men know. See, it's the women. Uh, In fact, uh, talk it's the to women us do, about it. It's the women who do, do not understand. Talk to us about the so men. So we, we, we usually go into to that space just to be safe and l- allow the women to calm down. Mwache to shuke. To shuke, yeah. Because to kianza kuongea ni, we just make things yes. Yes. Yeah. And then her being choleric. <laughs> You understand? Well, being choleric, it becomes worse. Yes. So things are said that you regret. So I'd rather keep quiet. Things, things are said that you regret. Regrets, because yes. at that moment, yes. it's like a win-win win situation. Yeah, exactly. It's out of anger. Yeah. It's who is winning, who is losing. Exactly. I'm going to say whatever I need to say to put you down. Exactly. And you are going to do the same mm-hmm. thing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now you know. Now I know. Yes. <laughs> So that was an eye opener, yeah. and now it became so. Of course, it has taken time yes. because that's her personality, and yeah. this is my personality. Yeah. But as now forced to get whenever yes. we have issues, yeah. to avoid retreating into the man cave and trying and sorting out issues, and for her to try and just be try and be sane. But now what happened is, it's like now the roles reversed. So I would come, I ask what's wrong. Yana <laughs> namaza. she talks. You know. So she's just um, yes. So I get upset. Yeah. Why is she not coming Yeah, then I said, ah, Laughing at Rebecca. Oh. So one how is she now when I that happens, yeah. what she now she takes out of it. Yeah. I don't care. Oh. I'm enjoying seeing her suffering in pain and all that. Mm. So you see that communication, all that. Yes. So things that's how all these things ended up the, the, the packing, packing and the divorcing. And the divorcing. <laughs> talk talk to us about yes. that Venus. Uh, We're in a man cave. Yes. In a man cave, yes. we need to have a whole discussion about, about it. it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unaenda unagonga hiyo mlango ya cave. Hello, Santo, mm. come out. Let's talk. Santo is uko safe space. Safe space. Where is the woman? Uko uko unachomeka. Eh ile moto ya Daniel ya Shadrack Meshach and Abednego uko uko yani your house is on fire but no the man is in the safe space and i still say that men need to really address yes the woman's feelings because he knows and I, this is what i say yes a man approaches a relationship using a logical mindset a woman approaches the relationship using her feelings it's about the heart and that's why most of the conversations utaskia anasema you made me feel it is about the feeling so women we are all about feeling so when we are looking at the man anafanya nini na inanifanya nisikie nisikiaje you see mm-hmm. but to them they are like but nimefanya you see like for example i could say okay you know we are not spending enough time it makes me feel like you don't care about me. Yes. Ana shanga tu kichwa tu inafanya tu like this woman she's nagging. For him I'm paying the rent. I'm busy here hustling for you. Is in that love. You see now you're coming with very different perceptions Can that can skew at conflict. this point. Mm-hmm. Do men confuse paying bills, taking care of the house, making sure kila kitu iko available as this is me being present. Yes. And 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 let me just say this with you know um because <laughs> Some, it also depends. There are those yeah. people who are kind of like semantic. So yes. they are all also they are men who actually are in touch with their feelings. Yes. So they may not pay the bills, but they are available. And yeah. that's how you find today. And uh, allow me to say this. Yeah. It's very easy to find a woman who has everything cheating with a guy who has nothing. Like complete shift. Because this guy is bringing the emotions. Attention. Which the husband is not giving. Attention. You see? Yes. So, yeah, napata attention. The guy is like there. You know, he's taking time to groom himself. Hey, mama, no, no, what? So, sometimes I always say, <laughs> when you're in a relationship, first of all, know the issues that are bringing or are coming against this relationship. Yes. And work on them. Yeah. And to the men, when a woman brings out something, please take it with a lot of seriousness. Yes. 
so me I'm this choleric mtu wa drama I always say I'm the Chuck Norris in the movie oh. na kujanga tu na gun you know poka kwa hiyo man cave you know poka ama ni bomo hii mlango you know that is that is the approach eh? but him is like I give me time I want yes. you know I, so when we as he said after doing the you know the marriage enrichment class I realized okay maybe I'm too headstrong for the marriage so yeah. I decided to take a step back and not say words that could you know damage the relationship later you know mtu anaweza kuambia by the way wewe angasijua yani aka word that will you will carry on with you your for the rest life. of your life and eventually you find yes. you know when you're 60 you're telling the guy by the way I'm done um, it's been real but it's that word yes. that has been intoxicating your mind bako yeah. unapana hapa yeah. pale nimefika he told me that i'm stupid he said that you know so we are also you know told to be very careful with our words and even the bible says mm. The tongue is a very small organ but it it has the ability to bring down empires you know so um during that time and when it talks about uh, the cave eh, mm. I as a woman I used to feel he's taking too long to respond to my issues you see I'm here nimeshafanya silent treatment silent treatment high work mtu tu unaona ndio anaongea na simu anacheka <laughs> I mean you're expecting that person to be depressed but it's not like that silent treatment is working as a weapon. Ndio sasa hiyo sasa kitu ni boys vibrate. Ana anacheka na boys wake sasa. Guys, umeacha hapo peke yako na Biblia. But at the end of the day, one thing that I can say is when you learn to work on yourself and grow, not for the man, not for your spouse, but for you to be a better person because there are those things you know i discovered only do the the that are a, a, a source of pain for him my behavior you know all these things so i decided to work on myself so you but not to make more. him happy, happy to make you better to make me a better person you know in marriage you don't make that marriage work by pleasing the other person mm. it's by pleasing god by growing because god is a god of growth Ulipatana na huyu mtu ukiwa nasari. Grow. Because this person is your mirror. Anakwambia by the way when you do this, this is because they are living with you. I've lived with him for as you know longer than I've lived with my parents. So if there's anyone who can give me constructive feedback, it's my husband. And we must learn how to take in that criticism with you know ile you know gratefulness that you're doing this because you're my spouse and you want and i always tell him santo mi mi nimekana wewe ni kangapi si you 20 what mm. do you think i can come to fight you do you think any comment that i'm giving you ni ya kuku destroy no i love you i want to you know spend those sunset years so whatever i'm telling you is for your own good no one out there will come and tell it to you other than me so anyway this yes. drama ya Chuck Norris yes it was always coming in where you know and and this is what i tell couples cuz nowadays silent treatment in mm. you know we have taken it to another level on social media there's a time by the way nilim one friend facebook oh na nika change status to single that is, now, that's what happens with Chuck Norris in the Aya. movie uko tu na machine gun hii kama ifanye unachukua bomb yani pole pole you eh. unfriended your husband nilim one facebook? friend nika change status to single and your friends know you are married i mean you know cholerics cholerics are you don't care nevi but people ah. know you are married and then she, you saw the status change <laughs> no, you know unfriend you si nimem hata nikam block yani i'm telling you yani it may grow because hey kam sasa maneno ya whatsapp yes akinijamisha tu na block oh na block at the what are i'm blocking say that type sio na tu santo type block unanielewa unataka kunyongelesha whatsapp na nimetoka kwa nyumba hujaniambia you have not addressed this issue why are you following me on social media at nini why can't you kama unanipenda we should have talked in the house to address this issue and it is something that i see with couples you're very comfortable when your wife or your husband has gone then kidogo kidogo namtafuta huko ati post zake za facebook mm. sivi nini you want to address the issue yet this person was in the house and you could have talked then yes yes me i always say when you're going into a domain it's like someone who is on that you know those heart machines you know inaitwa ngaje hiyo ya ku sustain life yeah so every minute counts and i always say one of the things that we have one of the rules we have is that we should not leave the house mm. kama tumekasirikiana mm. na tukikasirikiana katikati ya mchana we should not sleep kabla mtamaliza kabla atujanini because me am a christian is yes. a christian yeah tutaanzaje maombi 
Utaambia nini Mungu? Yet huyu mwenye mnalala naye kwa kitana moja you have not forgiven them. One of the things that interferes with marriages is ego. And where there's ego there's no god. Unanielewa because yeah. mwanaume amejifanya yeye ndio mwanaume yeye ndio nini? And a lot of men um, who have this very heightened ego wanakuanga narcissistic. So they are very manipulative. You understand? So I always say if a man can take the lead because the Bible says the man is the head. And mupenanga hiyo verse inasemanga and I always tell I always remind Santo because God says you should love your wife as Christ loved, loved the, the church. church. And what will that do to your woman? It will make her be submissive. Mm. So love commands submissiveness. Yes. The opposite is also true. Unanionesha you don't care. Utaona drama. Unasiku mchukua tu mawe ingine nikaomba. Guy what? Da kugo. I can be God because the young leader get I think it was part of the defense mechanism yes. that I needed to have. But you know the, the drama is because you know you're always reacting to what this person is giving you. Yes. You bring in toxicity. I will send it back, return back to sender. Time seven. You understand? Yeah. So what I say is that you know couples can avoid all this. Now there's always that thing of like ah I can always go and look for another man. I can always cheat on him. But who tells you that the other person will give you the same? God has already given you someone that you can work with. Yes. No matter God has, how imperfect. Yes. You you're not perfect. They're not he's not perfect. You're only made perfect when you come in the presence of God and agree to that fact that you are on a working progress. Yeah. So this thing of people saying oh I'll go see you yeah you know me I have see you see you ananifanyia nini anaipatia that is absolute confusion that's an escape it's it's a defense mechanism yeah. it might yes it's an escape yes. but remember you have not addressed this thing and it attracts a lot of things which because you know I, I don't want you know I'm very spiritual mm. but I don't want to go into those but the spiritual you know, there's something called husband's wife and mm. husband's spirit so mm. whenever you're married and you go outside the marriage there are those things that you bring yes. into the home things that you don't want to manifest because they haunt you seven generations you know so at the end of the day what has really helped us with all this drama because when I said him the divorce hata kukua Kenya eh eh mwanamke mwanamke akiamua ameamua na kuanga ni drama me I just went to the lawyer I just said Mimi anyway I am done I am so sure about it in fact the first person I went to she told me Venus I'm a born again Christian I I don't do divorces but I can I can send you to someone in our company who can help you Nikamwambia yes please I'm also a born again Christian but this one God has said this one has to be me <laughs> yes says kwa taka kujua kichwa likomeruka akaniambia say by the way to consider you happy i have to go like two hours away ndio ni sasa pa the lawyer is mm. so nikaenda akaniambia okay ni nikaanza first of all ni imedanganya lini akila is a bad first of all you know i don't think that he cares for me this is what he do eh, eh, lawyer tu ameandika ameandika you know yeye anapata pesa yake yes i didn't even have the money for if i did divorce yeah. i just called my friend come hi okay, i'm going through difficult news can i can i what amefanya hivyo wacha nikutumie do so even for there some friends who are bad now those Mika friends kuambia kuja kwanza tuongee wacha ni kuempesa sai sai go i paid nika nikamwambia lawyer okay he's not even in the country please just for serving he was in the uk yeah just serving <laughs> and i went back to the house hey wacha pate nini akapata wacha anze kunipigia huko ananipigia na kata na kata santos amenipigia sijui 15 20 times yeah Eh, hey, mshoe tu. My friend, nimwambia tu my friend. Hata sikubwa. Yaani respect ilikuwa ishaenda tu zero. Nikamwambia my friend, if you have anything to tell me, please talk to my lawyer. Yes, don't call me. Wait. Talk to my lawyer. Na, na, na I think alipigia bishop, uh, <laughs> bishop of. Yaani he called everyone and everyone. Oh. You guys come. And and that's something that I really appreciate about him. Oh. You know, there, there must be someone who brings in wisdom in the relationship. Let's someone who calms down yes. the situation and that's him. Let's talk about that part. Umepata uko UK. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Umetumiwa divorce papers. Asubuhi. Asubuhi mm. you've been served. 
na umeona mm. what, what what was going through your mind what <laughs> happened take us through because this is now the mending right. process he was it's you can imagine it's very stressful you don't yeah. know where to start yeah but the first thing you do is let me call her because you don't think hey, you <laughs> wonder this is not is she serious yes um because i remember we had talked uh, divorce is not on the table nini 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 i had had got news to her packing, packing and, and all that it. but divorce it's really extreme and like i said if you ask her what the reason was where it started from ato <laughs> ungecheck and that's where lena kudanganyana you understand <laughs> so there's always been a small issue yes that Escalated. is not yes mm-hmm. is not addressed immediately mm-hmm. that grows into a a mole that goes into a mountain yes yes so advice to couples try and resolve issues mm. immediately because th- by the at, after some point perspective reasoning goes out of the window mm. yes. even respect yes, she said out, she called because, you my friend yes it goes out the window yeah so try to resolve things as quickly as possible yeah yeah so what did you do So cold cold of course when I then I came back she was not taking it she's not even at home I don't know where she had gone to yeah. she was not at home and I think eventually I don't know who did we call I think yeah. I called someone to talk to her mm. then she, uh, she she at least her tempers came down <laughs> she saw reason then agreed we talked we kissed and talked resolved whatever the issue was yeah but she told me so to withdraw go and pay when don't i oh oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> think community yes. yeah. remember i can yeah. never forget yes alika kwa gari mimi nikaenda nikamlipa i pay that lawyer yes yes shika yeah, shika you said you called someone and someone talked to her mm-hmm. yes. but earlier on you mentioned you called a friend mm-hmm. and they were ready to yeah. help you even mm-hmm. with the money mm-hmm. what was the difference between the person that talked to you mm-hmm. and what would you advise especially people couples mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. are listening because mm-hmm. the first thing mm-hmm. if my guy does something to me mm-hmm. there always those people I want to call and mm-hmm. remember me I want to justify myself mm-hmm. I won't tell them what I did wrong mm-hmm. I want them to know what he did wrong mm-hmm. see me 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 sinanga shida yendi yako na shida me siwezi kuwa na shida and that's now when he says you know you even lie he even did and you know you are not telling mm-hmm. the truth huh? mm-hmm. what was the difference? difference between the person that talked to you guys out mm-hmm. not you mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. out of the divorce mm-hmm. uh, as compared to the person that was even ready mm-hmm. to help you go through the mm-hmm. divorce now this is where we say birds of a feather flock, flock together. together okay um it made me you know go back and think about my company <laughs> now if someone is not for marriages they will come through for you when you are going through the, the, those domains they will make sure your marriage Fins. is totally broken because that you know everyone has a, what we call a belief system so mtu mwenye anasema nga marriages don't work they will support you when you call them hey my so you know being a psychologist i know who to call so mm. nilipiga tu your best mwenye ana she's been broken she's you know anasema my god my girl na kutumia sahi you you know you have my support yeah But the person who came in who is a common friend believes in marriages. Now what I want to say is your friends make a very big difference to where you're headed. Mm. You see at the beginning when we used to have issues he would go pare pare after pare after pare. Yes, party. Pombe nini to jali, yes. you know? That was the mentality. Yeah. Unaona? But then when he shifted, you know how he viewed life, it was like we need to sort this thing, you know, because he knows he is accountable to God yeah. for me. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So at the end of the day, you need people who can hold you accountable for your actions. Lean you are as good as the five friends mm. you hang out with. Let me tell you if your friends are gossipers, mutakuwa mnaita committee mutacheka mpaka midnight mkigossip about maybe one or two people if your friends are about marriages you'll see them telling you come with your spouse come let's guys let's let's do a road trip yes. you know as couples let's get let's away go, yes, yes get away and you talk about challenges and that is what ndoa i really appreciate ndoa which was uh, a program for mavuno mm. it really helped us because 
We did these things, you know, as couples. We would even, for five years, we worked together. Can you imagine? We would meet every month without failing and we would talk about issues. So, unakuta mtu anasema, hey, ask guys, you know, you're told, Ebu, rate, rate your husband. You are very open. Intimacy. Kuna wala wanaleta zero. Yes. Mwanaume nasikia gai, hii ni aibugani. But, wale wana wakoko, ya, mi my husband ako 10. You know, out of a scale of zero to 10, mtu wana kuja, ya, my husband that has to be in a good space. You see, it challenges, mwanyako zero, at least. Nekine, mwanyako at least, maybe asimlete, asimpatia aibu, ako 7. So, that accountability really brought in a lot mm-hmm. of difference. And, you know, being in a place where you undress so that you can address. There we go. You know, address the issues. I'm telling you, helped us. Because we would see couples who are yes. in their 60s yeah. talk of challenges that we knew we were going through. And when they brought out how they worked their way through it, it became, a, 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 you know, a stepping stone yeah. for us. Yes. You know, and we're able to, you know, kind of like avoid those potholes. So mentorship is very important. important. Mm. Support we go to yes. when things mm. are falling very apart. Mm. It's very important. And I always say, look for mature people. Because mm. with maturity, you don't have time going, kunokati, hey, hi, imagine Venus came. You know, there's no time for all that, yeah. you know. Yeah. They tell you and they give you homework. Go and do this. Go and do this. You mm. know, anytime we have gone from, you, he's given a challenge, I'm given a challenge. You see? And you must go back and say, I did my part. Yes. You see? So marriage is like a dance. Yeah. You do one step, I do the other. Yes. We tango. Mm. You understand? Akieka step, na mimi ni koko missing in action. Oh, they call divorce court. At a dance na nani. You see? That's where now we miss it. We miss it. Yes. So at the end of the day, I would say the support system is very important. Mm. But let me tell you, Lynn, I would I would be lying if I didn't mention God. Our common place and space has been God. And he can testify to that. So this guy, my lovely husband, I love you, he got saved after 15 years of the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the country. Yeah. God loved me so much, but every year, I would fast for him. Oh. Every year, one month, I would take to pray for my husband. Because I was telling God, I would write letters to God. You fasted for him every year for 15 years. Every year, years. there's a specific month I would take to just pray for his salvation. For 15 years. And I would write notes. And I have by the those notebooks. I would write letters to God. I say, God, you told me this is my husband. Why don't you change him? Because my desire has been to serve God together with my family. You yes. see? So when he got saved, I was not there. Sikwa service, I was away. So when I came, he told me, eh, by the way, I have something to tell you. I got saved. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Sindi, yani, siku duwa neza kwa napia kwa kwa aspect kwa mzungu. Uh-huh. Nili angu katu chini nili ilia. <laughs> hey, foundation <laughs> ilichaka everywhere. I'm like, aki God, you know, you know, God, you love me. You know, like, okay, it's been taken. And sometimes change takes time. Sometimes our prayers take time, take time to be answered, but it takes the resilience. Mm. You must be willing to wait upon God. You must be willing to wait upon the changes to change. Wow. Let's talk about you getting saved, uh, Santos. Mm. Did you know she had she was fasting for no, all I, those years? No. Hi-ya. I didn't. She never even once told me until it happened. What 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 was the turnaround? What made you say Again, I'll say that I I've said it. Yeah. God has His perfect timing. Um, and and I and I think He was preparing the way, and the specific people that came before that event happened, and I remember by then I think I John Muscles. Yeah. And particular people who who are working with me, you know, you be because now what happened is I start becoming intentional in terms of my friends, like you said, and it's very true. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who mm. you are. All right? So, you know how you become now aware? Of the Yes, friends. as aware, I started doing enough courses. I remember I did one called Mid Maisha. It uh, was very, very, very uh, eye-opening. And also helped me understand her in this age because I also came to realize I didn't want to get into my 50s, 60s, and then I'm alone at home. Ah. Hey, Amanda. My daughters yes. or my son has invited her. Please, mom, come and take care of your grandkids. Mm. You understand? Mm. I realized I need to invest in her because she's invested a lot of her life in making our home and raising our kids. Mm. 
in this land. And that's why you see, she, that's when now, after some time, during this time is when now she said, she went back to school. She Aww. did her undergraduate, she's done her master's and now to her PhD. So you see, I realized I need to support her. And I told her, no, because at the time she took almost a year off work. And I told her, no, fine, don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of us. You do you now. You understand? Yeah. Because she realized she had this passion about Aww. mental wellness and mm-hmm. psychology to understand the yes. human mind. Mm-hmm. And I realized, and that helps. You see, now I'm investing for our future mm-hmm. that will include both of us, not yes. only me. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because I've seen quite a number of in quite a number of men are mm-hmm. all alone when they have worked. Yes. You know, they've sweat, they've provided. But with all that, they you're left alone. alone. Mm-hmm. You they end up alone. Yeah, go to up on a gazette. Oh yeah. yeah. Kai. Imagine. Mm. I said I don't want that. Na news. <coughs> I don't, I don't want that. Yeah. So I came to know this after yeah. So it was again God planned everything mm. up to that moment. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. I was very sure, I was very specific who wanted to pray for me. That happened, and I think now now my journey has started um, in salvation. I'm serving men, men's muscles. There's the Bible study. You see, everything, and now, and now even the men I'm walking with, and, um, you know, like like Jesus had an inner circle, and yes. I have my inner circle. Yeah. If I have anything, even if I'm I'm stressed at home yes. or whatever, they, I, I call them. That's the part I wanted to bring mm. about yes. because people assume now that both of you, God is at the center of it all. Yes. There is no drama. Uh-huh. You wake up like, you know, queens and kings. Mm-hmm. You hug each other. You mm-hmm. kiss each other. Mm-hmm. Life is beautiful. Mm-hmm. There are no dramas, mm-hmm. no domains. Mm-hmm. But that's wrong. Mm-hmm. So many things are still happening. Oh, yes. In fact, it's, 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 it's worse. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are t- now a target of the of the enemy for those who are yes. believers. Yes. 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 Because... Mm-hmm. You see, like, now the fact that we're here, the fact that you saw us in the previous, you yes. done quite a number of shows. Yeah. Now we're a target. Mm. So the, the enemy will try and because the news to you bring shame. Now you see now, the devil can you imagine, you remember those guys who were, mm. exactly. Yeah. Look at those guys who were on Nini, on Lean Show. That's how we are Yukopali and Yukopali. Yes. Mm. To bring embarrassment. So yeah. we are, and we are aware of that. <laughs> yeah. Like she said, mm. we are very much aware. Mm. So yeah. whenever those things come, we say, hey, hey. Other than that, because we know it's not perfect. And you like she never said, be. the only perfect person that ever walked this mm-hmm. this this earth was Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I only tell her, I'm not perfect. Leo to Tapigana. And at times I tell her, hey, by the way, yes, things are okay, but yes. I don't promise that we'll not have another domain. Yes. Mm-hmm. It will be there. It will mm-hmm. be it's there. It's only that we need to be aware, mm-hmm. be able to resolve it mm-hmm. as quickly as possible yes. mm-hmm. and not give any me a way yes. to divide us because yeah. you see that's what he does divide and rule mm. divide and rule mm. yeah mm. at this the way you guys you are right now yes. he he like understands you you understand him do mm-hmm. you think the chances of parking have reduced <laughs> <laughs> I, i'd like to hear wow. that answer hey. wow. <laughs> you also want to hear yes. the answer um, <laughs> you know yeah. um when i got married yeah I thought I loved this man called Santo. Now in my mid 40s, I know that I love him. Wow. And on top of that, I know I am accountable to God for being his wife. So every time I've even attempted you know, hata sasa zingine na kohoanga, God tu ananikatanga wazi, you know, like Venus zikit. So chances of parking zero. Wow. And I'll tell you why. We there's a way we are brought up our children. Mm. In fact there's a day we we're having a dome and tuko tunapita napo kama miti mbili. Huyu ni mogumo tu. Huyu mwingine si juu Cyprus. Amuonani hata macho aziguzani. Namko kwa nyumba moja kwa stairs tunapita na kaa ghost mbili. Yes. And then my son asked me, "Mom, hizi ni mimi mnatuonesha hapa?" Is in nini mnatuonesha when a dad standards there's a day again we were having a dome so we have routines we have you know there's a, we operate like a company to on a mission to on a goal yani and our kids are the ones who are the first recipients of you know they gain from that eh? yes so ile mimi nimekasirika you know 
if you're walking out of the house you kiss bye bye you know because you come home to atarudi you know just leave you know na roho poa mimi sasa kata guy usi ata yani unaje leo unajamea kata hiyo kidole yako hiyo kidole ya mguizi ni guze you know those things don't come near me so he, he i left no he i don't know if he left ama but my yes. daughter asked me mom how come you guys are not kissed oh you understand so chances of parking are zero because i have children who will hold me accountable for my actions i have god who will hold me accountable you've had the answer Mr. Mm. Yes, thank you. For You've had the answer. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel? No. Uh, it's not actually more of the aspect of parking. It's more like now there's a ground. There's what you guys believe in. You are setting an example for your kids. Your kids are actually starting to ask you questions. They are holding you accountable. How does that make you feel? <clears throat> it, it, it kind of... Um like she said you know yeah. as 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 you grow as where to where we are yeah we are, we already know what is expected of us there's yes. a lot mm. we came to the realization that our marriage is just not for us mm. it's not only about us mm. they are other than our children the people who look up to us where we work the people we are some of uh, many of our friends they yes. look up to us yes and we feel that it's god that has put us in this position yeah and we can't let him down yes it's our responsibility because remember we are all each here on this earth to yes. be a blessing mm. to others yes. so we believe our, our mm. marriage mm. is a blessing mm. to very many people mm. to give positive influence on other marriages to encourage people in marriages that are probably uh, going uh, are going down yeah. and also to to encourage others who have been told that marriages don't work mm. they actually do work and in this day and age but you see the thing is and we'll say this over and over again it's hard work you have to put in the work mm. it doesn't come easy you have to it put does. in the work you have to put in it the doesn't work. come easy it doesn't come mm. easy the it question majority easy. of the audience will ask now is of course you guys know you are together but when someone watching you as a woman they'll be like akinichapa nifanye mhm akini to aki especially physical abuse mm-hmm. sexual abuse mm-hmm. because many of the women have sat with mm-hmm. you'll hear the reason someone packed and they never want to even go back mm-hmm. it's because they were physically abused mm-hmm. they were sexually abused mm-hmm. we have instances where a man can, a man in marriage can easily mm-hmm. uh, sexually abuse you even if you guys you are still in marriage mm-hmm. so for a woman that is watching you and they are like so many kichapwa nifanye nini mimi si pack what answer do you have for them Let me just say this yeah. um, as a woman of God mm. I don't I don't uh, support or advocate for divorce. Yes. But being a student of life and knowing about psychology, the mindset, temperaments. There are certain personalities that are all about harm. So I always say when someone disrespects you to a point they are willing to alter how you look physically tunalanga mama amechapwa uko na scars everywhere they are willing to do things that will mentally damage you personally i would tell you pack leave give it a break yeah i always say continue praying for that person you know and you know kuna wale anakuanga waliingia tu marriage ile na feelings you never consulted god kuna wale tuli consult god but bado kuna faultiness you see you can always gauge how someone is there are those who come and change you know such as my husband and they say okay fine he never used to beat me or anything but the psychological damage ilikuwa well, lot you see yeah. and that's why i keep i kept on praying for him but kuna zile extremities i would tell you love yourself because i am venus first before i am mrs chengo yes and my life is accountable to god mimi as a person so you cannot go at the aya sawa ni chome ni dunga na daga i mean you know <laughs> you 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 must love yourself to the point where you're willing to know god and you know being in that space of awareness that this man is not all about you know doing good to me so i'm walking away mm-hmm. okay yes. god has given you that option of choosing because it is justifiable and god says by the in his word that he will fight for you 
God is a God of justice. As long as you know wewe haujakuja na ubaya, mm. hujatoka na ubaya, mm. God will fight for you. Toka. Yes. It's okay. But there are these two small, small things, what I call, you know, the two little foxes. Eh? Yes. Oh, siju kuniambia I love you. Siju, those two small, my, minor things. Those ones are things that I can work. As I said, yes. we are not perfect. And one of the things that really interfere with relationship is your story of temperament where you're not able to understand the other person you know the, their personality you don't even know their language of love uko busy unamtumia do kwa pesa yeye anataka tu ukuje you spend time with him so it's very important that as you say people commit and become intentional about working ni kama shule enda usome malizana na certificate ingia you know diploma ya marriage okay huyu mse you know msemanga mwanaume ama wife yako ni kama project Mungu anataka ujue hiyo mkono inaweza fanya nini. You know, you have to master the art of marriage. Mm. Without it, ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. You ignore the things that are happening in your marriage, that marriage will die. Will die. So commitment is there. The way we yes. commit even to do our makeup, you know, commit to, you know, look good. Yes. It's the same thing we should work in that marriage. And it this applies for both men and women. So for any woman who has been damaged, me I would confidently say this as a counselor pack your things go yes because we don't want to bury people and we say at you oh, you know we were just be apana where your life is being threatened pack and leave and leave but where you know you can work things out work and things on top out. of that the other person is willing the other person is willing the other person the is the other person is you can na chapanga mtu unasema ki anakuja na sema aki hii mkono ndio ilifanya See, mm, 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 mm. Mungu. you yes. know so they are willing to work with that hand mm. yes. you know, yes. so if someone is willing and you have a good support system that mm-hmm. can help this person because muse masa zingine someone can be dysfunctional that's like an alcoholic yeah. or a drug addict yani they are really trying wameenda rehab wana relapse you know you still have to continue supporting until they have the muscle to stand on their own so yes. sometimes as a wife or as a husband it means supporting this person mm. until they are able to stand up and function well in the marriage yes. but at the end of the day it's still your choice me I always say your mentality your mental wellness is very important. comes first yes santos yes of course as we've had we have women who want to walk out eh? the same case we have women who are very toxic kuna wanawake wamekalia mabwana zao you know mpaka a husband cannot breathe mm. you know and the moment something happens they are the victims mm. eh? to any man that is watching and maybe they are dealing with a toxic woman because we even we have to admit mm. women can be toxic Extremely. women are toxic mm. what would you tell those men and i like you asked that because yeah. i I've, I've, i'm with in the group with some of them quite a number of them yes. and at times like you said at times you're better off separating and just finding yourself mm. you need to find yourself I remember like i said i think i said at the beginning yeah. if you don't know who you are then there's no way you can work in that marriage because mm. it will just be dysfunctional You see, work on yourself, get to know who you are and f- just find a way if and because if if they are willing then because I know going for counseling has become very foreign. People find it that it's a waste of time, but it actually helps mm-hmm. because you'll realize that these women are toxic because of something that happened in their past. Mm-hmm. So they it, they are manifesting it towards their husbands. Oh. You understand? Yes. And they are victims. Now if you get a woman who is toxic and a man who is phlegmatic very soft and all that mm. he suffers seriously mm. and chances are even it could go to extreme where he will be killed yes so try and get counseling or get someone to intervene yeah <coughs> excuse Sorry. me mm-hmm. um someone who especially the lady will will listen to mm. because at times you need someone that the lady can listen to and mm. be given advice yes. go for counseling yeah and get to go to get to know the root of what the issues are because all these things none of us you see it's even in the bible none of us are made we all good mm. god created us all good mm. but there's something while growing up that happened in your life that changed you that mm. changed yes we are we are all good we are good a clean slate a yes clean slate. all of us on a clean yes. slate something yeah. happened mm. because Clates the bible him. god whatever yes. god made yeah. was perfect, perfect and mm. good is this the part where yes. you say if you're in a relationship mm-hmm. if you are caught in mm-hmm. if you are going out with someone mm-hmm. it's okay to bring out conversation of what have you been through yes, yes. oh that is awesome mm-hmm. 
it is good to go back into the past. Going back into history with a counselor or someone who is best placed to take you through the premarital mm -hmm. counseling mm -hmm. sessions mm -hmm. is very important. Why? Because when you go into a relationship with secrets of your past, they will always manifest. Now, let me give you an example because trauma is bad. Mm. A young girl, if, if, you, if you get someone who was like a lady who was abused, you know, at a very early stage, you find that sexually, one thing they're not able to respond, okay, to intimacy. Or whenever it is happening, there's a level of fear. You see? And of course, such things might interfere with how the man perceives the woman. Yes. So without knowing, the man could just maybe make, you know, quick judgments that, oh, mama, you know, maybe yeah. she's seeing someone else. All these things that people like to put out there as reasons as to why someone is behaving the way they do. However, if this person had gone in and said, by the way, I know you love me, but are you willing to take a woman who was raped at 10 years, you know? Then you have something to work with. Yes. In a punguza trauma. Mm. Let me tell you, Lynn, there are so many people in marriages, dysfunctional people, who have a very traumatic history. Even as basic as Baba Yake Alkwana Mchapa Vibaya Sana. And you see these things now even being transferred to the children. You never healed past that wound. And now, as you grow, it is coming to affect your generation. Remember, yes. you're coming from a past generation. Yes. And that is why we say these circles of, you know, God and Asama, it ended down seven generations. You killed, you know, your parents killed someone. When, when you're, that gene is in you, you go and, you know, so it is something that with awareness, with a bit of, you know, we, we say in, 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 in the session, you know, open up. The more you open up, to me, the more I'm able to get through your mind yeah. and help you heal. Yeah. What remains hidden is normally, you know, the, the mind has got three sections. Yes. So the unconscious mind, yes. nipali tunakonga tunaficha vitu, zile yeah. watu wajue. Yeah. Oh, sijui, uh, this fetish, nini, nini, nini. So your trauma are there. Mm. But it takes a trigger. Kitutu kama mwanaume ya kushike. And you go back to how this rapist alikushika. Tuka moyo mwanaume. And, and you <laughs> begin to react. The same, different men, same, Same reaction. reaction. So, counseling is very important. important. Not only, <coughs> Musema, by the way, do it for yourself first. I, I am a counselor. Very seasoned. And I still go for counseling. Mimi, as Venus, I go for counseling. Yeah. And once in a while, when we feel that we are at a place where there's no agreement, mm. we will call someone in. And they will talk even to us right as a now. neutral mm. person. Even yes. right now. Even right now. There is no place that you can say, umefika mwisho. Mm. With mm. God, it's about growing. Because the challenges keep on changing. Yeah. When we go back to our past, it was about now kind of like, you know, stabilizing, watoto wamekuja, you know, dealing with all these petty things. Yes. And now, we are going to be, to be in spaces whereby their children, are, our children are coming with their spouses. Their children, maybe our, our skizani. The challenges will always be you know different yes. so there is no way utasema umefika yeah looking at her <laughs> <laughs> you see I, i'm telling you here we are manifesting <laughs> we are manifesting beautiful things in our lives Amen. When, when you look at her uh if, no, even before we wind up when you look at her right now what do you see mm. she's right there yes what i see mm. is uh someone who's very passionate eh? she's discovered her purpose mm -hmm. um and, and I'm, I'm 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 very glad that i i played a role away. god used me let me mm -hmm. yeah god used me to help her get her purpose because yes. you can see how she's very passionate when it comes to the mind yes because um the enemy uses the mind that's what he always uses you know he's not everywhere he just uses the mind he's not mm -hmm. as powerful as god mm -hmm. he uses the mind yes. to change people's destiny and go the wrong direction, mm. go out of your purpose. Mm. People fail, destroy marriages, destroy lives. Mm. It's just the mind. Yes. yes. So every time I, I see us speaking about the mind, mental wellness, I'm, I'm very, very, very proud of her and knowing that she's doing, she's following her calling yes. and it's something that God has, 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 has deposited in her. Yeah. And of course, I'm a beneficiary because I listen. Yes. As you noticed, 
she talks, I do a lot of listening. Yes. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I use some of these things that I come up with to talk to other men <laughs> and anyone who feels they need to talk to me. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I believe I'm a very good listener. So mm. people really come and talk to me and, you know, and I have information. Yes. yes. Yeah, I mean, you know why mm. I asked you that question? Yeah. Because we live in a culture where some people will not want a woman to progress. Mm. As long as this woman is under me, mm. as long as I'm the one who is up there, mm. I'm the man. Mm. I'm the man. Mm. How should we start defining masculinity? How should we start defining manhood, especially in a marriage? You see, now that's where p- things go wrong. And mm. That is a very old way of thinking. Remember I told you I did a course called Mid Yes. Uh, it's basically where men during the suffer midlife crisis, you get to a point you really don't know what to do. Mm. And then at that point, you really, like now where we got, I realized that she had given so much of herself to me, to our, to our, to our kids and to our home. Mm. And it was now time for her to take care of her and grow herself. Mm. You understand? You see, when she grows and when she's that, she still remains, she would be referred to us Bibia, yes, Bibia, Santo. Mrs. Yes, yes, you see. Yes. Yeah, it will not change. Mm. I look good when she shines. <laughs> you understand? There yeah. you go. So it's not a threat. Yes. I only look, I look good, very good when she, she's, she's doing very well. Yeah. Mm. And you can see she's, she does a lot because her, she's more, she's out more on, 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 on this platform. Yes. So I get to get that, that glory as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she gets it and also gets it. I love that. Yeah, because she'll say, oh, who need Bibi Anani? Yes. Mm. Yes. Exactly. Yes. You get so it. So for me, I don't take it as a threat. Yes. Mm. And we're a team. And remember, we are one. When she shines, I look good. When mm. I shine, she looks good. Well, we are one. Because mm. we, we were separate and then we were brought together mm. and became one when, uh, through marriage. Yes. Yes. I love that. Mm. Venus, yes. when you look at your husband, <laughs> what do you <laughs> I see a lot. <laughs> You know me, I uh, talk a lot, no, yeah? He is a man of very few, few words. words. I can yeah. write a book yes. in like one day. Yeah. Um, first of all, I see my best friend, oh. the father to my children, who I appreciate, very beautiful children, and I thank God for that. But mostly, I see a God-given support system. When I met Santo, I think my level of education, not as a junior, kama nikuwa mefanya certificate. Jushetani ya likuwa na niandama. Ilikuwa na zakos moja na, na left. And he kept on encouraging me. He was a graduate when we met. Me, nilikuwa tu hapo. I think I just done French, basic French. You understand? Oh. But over the years, the certificates I hold are because he has supported me. There are times this guy would stay up with our last born. And I'm pair, nime express maziwa. I'm pati maziwa, mina soma. You know, he talks about that one year where I took a break from work. You know, we were literally feeding off his salary. And he told me, Venus, I'm going to support you. So I see a God given support system. Let me just say that because he is obeying the voice of God. You know, and where I stand today. Let me not give glory to any other person. It is God and this man. Akuna mtu mwingine. It is God and this man. Because the rest wana kujanga after, you know, I've dealt with him. You understand? So that is what I see him. And, yes. and lastly, I see a pastor. And I keep on telling him. I see a pastor. This guy, Yani, muona tu pastor. Yani, because if you listen to him and everything, you know, he's very, by the way, he's very, I, this guy has read the Bible, Siju Marangapi. You know, Mimi, niliokoka 1935, yes. but you yes. know, yes. na, na interpret, na yes. manifest. Eh? Yeah. But this guy is very passionate about the things of God. So I believe he's in the process of being made, you know, to, to influence people spiritually. You understand? So I love that aspect that, you know, from, you know, that growth yes. from where he was yes. and where he is right now. Surely I see God's work in him. Yes. So those are the four things. that, And of course, did I tell you that we work together? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, we work together. That I know. I was just He has trained me. This guy has been my teacher. <laughs> I was I'm respecting. Wangu, <laughs> by the way. Maybe it's something you did imagine. not want to do. So I also see my teacher. Can you yes. imagine? Yes. I see my How teacher, my colleague. How does it feel working together? 
Um, I hear you were banned from traveling together. Yes, we don't can travel, you travel together. together no, 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 no. You still no, can't no, travel no, together. No, not allowed time. anymore. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for safety, for safety, for safety reasons. Yeah. 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 yeah, but you yeah. worked together for so long. All these years. Mm. All these it's years. It's now twenty-one years. Yes. Uh, working together. Yeah. Mm. Our house has. I always say our house for a very long time has been like a transit point. Yeah. You know, we meet, the times is gone mm. for a month. Yes. You know, I'm left with the kids. Yes. But somewhere, you know, talking about flexibility, mm-hmm. you know, and one thing that I like about, you know, us is that we understand our work environment. Yeah. Kuna time atakuja, ata ataki kuniona, like yes. tu anataka kitanda. Yes. Aingi alale. Yeah. Mimi intambia, tu watoto no noise nini nini. I'll just make the mm. environment conducive. Yes. The same thing with me. There are those times where you just, yes. you know, and that is the beauty of spouses understanding each other. Each other. Kuna ule mwano metatoka subui, three, amenda kuhaso, amenda shamba. Mm. Aki kuja six, unaza kumbati, eh? Why aren't you picking my call? Hey, hey. I mean, just make the environment conducive. Yes. Understanding the other person very very important it's so important. i see my, my my a colleague yes you know yes. i don't know yani this guy is a uh, all in one package he's all in me. one package yes and i thank god yes. for that there's yeah. a question i want to ask mm-hmm. uh, because i've seen it maybe in the comment section especially in successful marriages mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. there are people outside who do not respect a ring mm-hmm. you know people will see lean with a ring okay, okay. see now but we, men will just be there you know crushing at you mm-hmm. and women will just be there you know mm-hmm. crushing at you and you know there's this thing mm-hmm. men, there are some men and women who will just go where they see success mm-hmm. if they see mm-hmm. santos is mm-hmm. a successful married mm-hmm. man mm-hmm. that's now when women start coming mm-hmm. your way mm-hmm. when they see venus is a successful married mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. that's now when man, men start coming your way mm-hmm. how do you handle that do you even tell each other about uh, M- mukikatiwa huko nje maybe hey! na watu wengine mimi kwanza kuna watu wanaomniambia ati you your your husband is very insecure Mbona anakupatia ma rings hivyo? You know, like, you know, hey. th- yes, they're very expressive. Like, kwani this guy, he thinks, you know, kukatiwa ni lazima. Where the success, of course, you'll find, I mean, even you, lean, you will have subscribed because what your content is, you know, I follow you, yes. you know. Yes. So, it, there's that, you know, when someone is looking, you know, and, and listen to the stories that you bring on the show, there's a level of my life can change because this is something that I can relate with. Mm. So, success attracts crowd, but you have to choose your inner circle and in that inner circle there must be respect trust and everything anything else they should be outside the wall yes. build a wall of jericho yes au wanakujanga wanakuja ku kill steal and destroy I always tell shetani anakuangana hizo three things yes to kill, kill steal and destroy. and destroy but god mission yake ni nini he came that we have life and we have, have life, life in, in abundance. abundance the second thing the blessings of god avenge no sorrow hmm. Hmm. So you are either on those two. Yes. Kill, steal and destroy. Angalia tu na mwenye anakuja na kwambia, "Eh, mazi na kufi." You know, me there's a time a kayang guy alimwambia, "Baby, mimi ukinipa tu chance. Mimi naweza kushow vitu zingine sana hajai kushow." Niliwambia tu get the behind the Satan. Mtoto mdo tumemwacha na 15 years. So these things are there they are real hata yes. ukiwe 70 hata yes. uwe 80 utapata ngatu yes. kaloka kalokas yes kamekuja yes but mm. it remains on how solidified you are you are your union how is. aware aware you are and how strong your union your is your union yes santos um locusts for me but it's values yes yeah values mm. i know what i stand to lose and you see um uh, and she mentioned it you know in this marriage we are both first answerable to god oh wow first so whether i do it in secret anything you do in secret will come to light yes so i may do get away with it, but it 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 has its way of coming out mm. do i want to risk that no nope. to lose her to lose my children and you see what i've gone through <laughs> please <laughs> I don't any of the more divorce papers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so it's not it's, it's not really worth it's it. It's not worth and it. And I've seen and and like she said, why are they coming? They're not she has done all this work. So someone is just coming to after she's we've gone through so much, I don't think it's really right mm. to, to 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 just 
through that in yes, the wind. Yes, in the, in the wind. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I mm, love that. It's mm. all about values. Mm. What do I stand to mm. lose? Mm. What do I stand to lose? Mm. And I like that he said, you've done the work. Mm. And honestly, you guys, you've done beautiful. Mm. You've done beautiful <laughs> work. You. Of Thank course, I, I, I want to wind up. Mm. But before I do, is there anything that you think we should have touched on that mm. we've not touched on? Please feel free. Mm. Okay, uh, Lynn, yes. Guys, yeah. I've never asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some guys, director, asking a question. This is special. Uh, Edwin, do you want to ask from here uh -huh. or behind yeah, the scenes? Uh -huh. Yes. So, um, I just want to get your opinion yes. on guys who are empowering women. Mm -hmm. Probably, um, you might decide maybe a lady mm -hmm. she has not gone to school mm -hmm. or uh, education level is mm -hmm. kind of down. Mm -hmm. So, you decide to take her to school. Mm -hmm. After you take her to school, mm -hmm. she leaves. And I'm working from buyer. So, I just want to hear your views. Yeah, oh okay. my, so, I know they heard him because they can pick his voice, but let me just repeat for the guys mm -hmm. who have not heard director Edwin Ochieng, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this is his first time mm -hmm. asking a question. Wow. So mm -hmm. what uh, Edwin is asking, for mm -hmm. those who might have not heard it clearly, mm -hmm. is what happens mm -hmm. when you get a woman mm -hmm. and you know maybe her education level, you want to elevate her, mm -hmm. you take her back to school. Mm -hmm. And then the moment you take her back to school mm -hmm. and things are working mm -hmm. and a kuchapa character development, mm -hmm. what do you do? You know, that's, it's very painful. Um, in Auma. In Auma. You mean Yuma. But you know what? Yes. I said this at the beginning. First, um, we're here to be a blessing. Mm. And let me tell you, what goes around comes around. Do good, never respect, expect anything in return. Mm -hmm. that's, what, how, that's how the kingdom business works. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it, and you remember she talked about time. Yes. Time is a healer, time changes. Time can do so much. You'll, you'll feel pain right now. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. But let me, t and, and, and what happens is, Remember, uh, she also mentioned God is righteous. Mm -hmm. He's a righteous judge. I did in Ilifanya Rosafi. I took her to school. She decided otherwise. Mm -hmm. You just leave her to God. They actually yes. to. Take time. Heal. Because it's painful. Even imagine I've not done it. But what? just hearing it. Because I had that story. Mm. Just hearing it hurts me. Because mm. maybe this person really sacrificed. Yes. Denied themselves something so that the lady can be elevated and 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 and, and just grow and blossom mm -hmm. but then when they when that happened they now so ah now i'm not worth mm. i'm not worth them mm. you understand mm. but that's how that's life how works. life is tender way ma mm. Nenda Nenda zako. Zako. perfect yes, yes. Mm. But on that note, yes. and, and, and I love that question is um, is something that is very current. Mm. I, I, I've had, I think, one or two clients mm. who are literally breaking down right now because the same thing happened. They, they yes. invested in their wives. And then, uh, you know, left-head. Mm. Um, two things could have happened in this, you know, situation. First of all, you are busy funding this woman's education. And you are not taking care of her other needs. Because the question remains, You see, empower, but pia amepata an empowered man. Mwenye ameingilia male hujafika. You understand? Mm. For you, as I said, men are very logic. They'll yes. say, okay, you need school fees nda kupatia. But they don't have time to show you, to tell you how beautiful you are. You know, they don't have time to invest in the emotions. And remember I said women think with their hearts. Feelings. So, this woman goes into class. Your class, kwa nini wanawake peke ya kiapana? Kuna wanaume pale. Your lady is there intelligence. Yes. Uyu mnini anona enyewe, there's a kalupo liya. Uyu mstiana hajawe kuwa farmed. Ananza tu, by the way, these guys, the way it happens, ekwangi ya tile headstrong ati nakutaka. Yes. Inanza ngatu, hey, by the way, hey, you're looking nice today. Tomorrow, hey, by the way, you blow, unanza question class. Before. And then this girl, akienda home, buwana ako biz, anasign contract, siju wapi. Mm. You see? Mm. So the husband is not available, but do anatoa. Yes. So what happens is that, this lady, siati ana, ana, ana fanya na madarao. It's just that the missing link, ilijitokeza. That ka space, that ka void, yes. 
ilipata mtu anajaza so it's also you know i'd like to just tell anyone any man who's listening to me or vice versa if you're supporting someone do it holistic mind body soul don't just give money hakuna mtu zikuwa na pesa but people remember how you made them feel yes you see good the second thing i say i talked about dysfunctionality mm. people who come from traumatic pasts yes so this person came in huyu mm. mtu amezoea kuleftiwa mm-hmm. time bomb yes ye yeah, anangoja ngatu sele yako na do amekuja tu kwako aki ana ene mm. but sele anaona bank account ina nini hivi anajua it's time to leave it's the same thing you hear people saying me i can't work for five years in a company eh ikifika the 50 years kianga tu ni kwa uncomfortable yes. so these people normally have like triggers or they have marks you see so alikuja alikuja kwako hakuwa na jiona mtu ana self you know ana self esteem umempatia self esteem ya patia education this person this person is dysfunctional yes so because amepata that thing that they needed inamfanya askieni mtu they decide to kuchapa hiyo character development but the question remains you as a person what do you do key thing life is about you fast guard your heart guard your mind this person is an extra addition to your life you utazikwa peke yako so guard your heart guard your mind secondly recognize that everyone has a choice they have made their choice and that's their choice and you must accept whenever you accept you are able to adjust when you adjust you will advance and the opposite is true When you live in denial you become stagnated and when you are stagnated you will die because utaanza kufanya vitu fani fani mara unakunywa mara siju utavuta bangi you know you're trying to replace this void so accepting that this person was dysfunctional na amefanya vile amefanya not because maybe well, you, you you did something wrong yes. it's just because them themselves they are dysfunctional mm-hmm. will help you to heal faster we must learn to heal the wounds will come Jan, yani the journey of life is interesting unachapwa hii na in-laws utachapwa na finances utachapwa na friends character development is not just left, about the right and center. left right and job unafutwa job but you must learn to heal okay. fast as you yes. as an individual because yes. that life when god was putting soul when god was in the business of making you haku kutengeneza na bwanako mm. haku kutengeneza na bibi yako mm. so recognize that first you're an individual before you're a spouse to someone ni bonus. heal quickly accept adjust and move on and move on yes that the, should be the mentality directed we no change yes. are you can okay I, can i just that? add one more thing yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, as i hear yes. you okay? yeah. you know at times yeah. at times um what happens is uh, um because she's mentioned this quite a bit of times yeah. you see at times in a relationship you may be lacking something mm-hmm. eh? then you meet someone yeah and what she's not getting from me yeah. she'll get from that person mm-hmm. but you forget what is what i'm lacking remember none of us is perfect mm-hmm. none of us is complete mm-hmm. none of us is 100% mm-hmm. so i have 80 but he has 20 mm-hmm. so when she gets the 20 mm-hmm. she look it looks like 100 mm-hmm. until she goes to the other side yes mm-hmm. and realizes what She I traded 20. I traded 80 mm-hmm. for 20 for 20 mm-hmm. and those are some of the things yes. that all you'll find now she got she's been she's been paid for then she met this guy yeah and probably like she's saying yeah maybe she's been saying oh you look good and so maybe him is not doing that much yeah. because mm-hmm. he wants to benefit he's struggling yes he has to sacrifice to ensure she goes to school yes and this guy is you know he's left mm-hmm. that then mm-hmm. She decides hey this guy now is making time he's yes. doing this yes. that 20 that he's missing yes is what she's getting and then she she misses so much yeah. mm. so times before people jump ship sit down muambie kwa nini uniambie ange ndugu yes by the way kwa nini kwa nini usiambie tu cha yako why don't why don't speak to them yeah hey, just go mimi leo venye nilikuwa smart hivi nilikuwa nangoja niambie sikai poa hey yes so i am so again like kama mimi i challenge mungu by the way 
kwani leo hujaona nimeka eyelash exactly. yeah you know me i always say women Sinyo. speak out so baada ya kwenda class yeah. baada ya kwenda class at the jama that is telling you you look good yeah. umenini kwani usiende uambie chali yako mm. i appreciate that you are paying for my fees mm. i appreciate you are taking good care of me mm. but there's something that we are lacking mm. can you tell me i look good once in a while exactly. communication ndio mm. tusitupe 80 mm. tukitafuta 20 it's true but to akaichi it's true okay. yes that yes. thing of being you know open communication, communication. open it's, communication communication is the heart of everything there you go and uh, it, you know words are chosen specifically yes. because of the impact they have the heart yeah. kwa roho mm-hmm. you see communication is the heart of a relationship yes. uko tu hapo umenyamaza then mm. umenyamaza wale watu na kongo menyamaza ni watu wamekufa. Yes. So <laughs> kama umenini umenyamaza kwa relationship that relationship is dead. It's dead. Be exp- be kuna saa zingine by the way muambia by the way okay saa zingine nakujanga tu na ile as usual ugeto style. Yes. Uh, by the way Sato you have a problem with me looking good. You know because ako na tuka karoho ajaniambia ti hey baby you're looking nice you know Lashes so nikienda huko the first guy i meet anambia hey, 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 yes, ma- you know <laughs> sasa of course lazima alashe zi you know so <laughs> i feel bad because i left my house and he did not say it. yes But when you communicate and you say once in a while it's just good ukiona hata nimenunua nguo mpya at least just mention it i think kama ndio mazoeano inakujanga yes. uki meet day mama you meet a guy mm-hmm. there were things you used to tell them and then now because you're in familiar territory yes. or grounds mm-hmm. you stop saying them mm-hmm. you stop complimenting your mm-hmm. girl you stop complimenting your man because mm-hmm. ushajua huyu ni wa huyu ni wangu mm-hmm. anaenda kuambiwa huko nje and then, let me tell you hiyo and i and i won't say this without fear of mm. any contradiction mm. mwanamke mwanamke is all about appreciation mpatie pesa mpatie anything but women love they thrive on, on appreciation second yes. thing ni provision there we go okay so hizo two things zinakunga zinaandamana hivi yes but do you know there's a reason why our parents you know kitambo nakutanga watu walikuwa na wakia gava offices of being paid the minimal mm. but mm. the fact that there was that real love happy na commitment hizo families zilikuwa zina thrive uh-huh. kama doa iko so it's just about doing things together having that united front yes okay mwanaume mwenye haumbiangi bibi yake anakaa msupu ama hata kama anakaa kiatu just once in a while msapa baby i appreciate you yes. you know make her feel that you are her number one fan affirmation affirmation i'm telling you works thing wewe, works magic wewe umeiva you look Akinda nice atenda kuna nje yeah. ambiwe na mwanaume mwingine yeah in her head she's like by the way i know that because my husband told me or my boyfriend told me what so you're telling me is a bonus yeah it's a bonus but sasa imagine umetoka tu hapo bwana ulimwacha kisoma gazeti ndio amengorota fofo hata kuangalia ukienda hata kuangalia marashi ndio umemwacha kinu kiwe na ikwambia ile recognize your perfume uende huko unapata unapata samson yes you know ako huko na come oh baby my friend una melt <laughs> your own flesh before we know anything una melt like, oh my god you know you must have you just told me you know the way it's just the way he it's said it it's the way he it. said it na sayo na because i don't remember the words it's the way he was looking at me when he said it and in fact when he just placed his hand and on me and god hata sikupenda kwangu but i, I melted just, yeah, yes So at the end of the men to the men out there yes work work on appreciating your women because sweetie really, i know you appreciate me yes but yes. the opposite is also ni, true. Ni, the, the yes. opposite what's the opposite no, no. men also love to be appreciated again, <laughs> but you see what what's probably just i agree with her yes but there's something called the f- uh, the languages of love the mm. five the five languages because yeah. you see you'll do some of these things yeah. another mm. person will feel nothing what are mm. what are your languages of love i know for Please me for sure it's a f- oh let me let me say <laughs> but let's do a quick test here yeah? santo let's loves see. affirmation he loves affirmation yes what else? and then uh, he he loves gifts yes yes yeah yeah those and are the two major ones for him yes yes, yes. What ask him mine yes Anapenda nini? Mbona mm. naona niko umeweka kwa test. <laughs> 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 okay, na jua. Yes. First of all, how she loves, she also loves gifts. Yes. Then oh, her love language Jenny just um not act of service but yes. attention. Mm. She loves you know, attention. Yeah, attention. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm. Yeah. 
That's a key. Key. Uh, so I think that's number one and then gifts. Mm. Oh yeah, so number yeah, one is attention for you. Say that and then Eh, hey, drama. Petrol, diesel. Unashamoto. Unashamoto. Yes. So you see it's important so for couples well. to know. Understand because Understand. you could be doing these other mm. things but it, uh, those are not like it, it does nothing to the other mm. person. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, I think I'm the only one who doesn't like gifts. Are you serious? Yes, I think so. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I like affirmations. I mm-hmm. love attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like when you know, like access, touch, touch. touch. Mm-hmm. Service, yeah. Like for for me, it's like uh-huh. yeah. So anyways, mm-hmm. uh, moving okay. on. Mm-hmm. Yes, so you need to go back to your past. <laughs> why? And see why a you gift. don't like the gift. I think because yeah. I was gifted a lot in the past. Ah, uh, so it became it, it became our yeah. yeah. okay. Yes. Uh, so now okay. I'm looking for different things. Ah, okay. Yes. You were desensitized. That's it, what we call in uh, psychology. If you want to make someone insensitive to something, yeah you flood them with the very same thing mm. if someone thrives on fear yes you take them to spaces where there's a lot of fear yes. there you go mm. yeah mm. so and it's not a good mm. thing mm. Yeah. it's not it's anything not that is thing. overboard it's not a good mm. thing mm. yeah but moving on edwin are uh, you are good yeah, I'm satisfied. so you are satisfied mm-hmm. okay matters <laughs> character development <laughs> now as we wind up mm. is there anything that you think uh, we should have touched on that mm-hmm. we did not touch on Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, personally, from my own end, yeah. I think we've really had a very solid conversation. Mm-hmm. We've gone around, uh, you know, everything. Yeah. And um, I love the approach we have because uh, it is some. It is a story that I tell people: don't go into marriage expecting perfection. Okay. And uh, maybe in the next, if we if we get an opportunity to come, maybe yes. we need to talk about the pillars of marriage. I was actually going to ask you, yes. sorry for cutting that you is short. That, that will take yes. another whole, whole, like maybe two hours. Yeah. Um, because there are many. We have the in-laws and outlaws. We have sex, of course, intimacy. We have finances. We have uh, communication. We have a religion. We have friends. Because I felt like there's so much. Because you see, mm-hmm. I, I like you are into mental, you know, wellness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are also a psychologist. And mm-hmm. we, are, we want more of this here on the show. Mm-hmm. We want to educate people. Yes. So this is the part where we ask you so that you ca- the audience can also maybe as they start commenting mm-hmm. on what uh, they would want you okay. to tackle mm-hmm. on our next conversation mm-hmm. do you mind being our resident psychologist matters no, mental oh, okay i don't mind and if there's yes. anyone who's listening to mm. you lean and mm. listening to us eh? yeah. and probably has issues reach out i mean i love the way that you tell people if you know if you're going through just yes. reach out yeah. i don't mind yeah um i i he knows i you know with zoom I can be in New York and yes. I still have a session with someone yes. who's in Kenya. It, it, we have gotten that platform where we can do this quick psychological mm. first thing. Mm-hmm. I always say anything that you talk about already has lost its grip over you. But when you're silent, you know, I always say, you know, when you're silent, nika kweka gas. You know, you can altars. Yani, iyo gas unayacha inakukula mbaka, you get to a place where you're bleeding. And now bleeding is where you find people saying, guys, I just, yes. I, I'm committing suicide. Yeah. You see? So when you open your mouth to talk, unacha your gas itoke. You know? So that gas loses its power to destroy your organs. Mm. All right? Mm. So let us have the culture of going out in the open and saying, I'm suffering. Ah, let's talk about it. Yes. I'm here for these conversations. Mm. I'm here for the guys. As you watch, please, on the comment section, I want to know what you would want, you know, Venus to come back and talk, you know, to us about. Mm. And of course, uh, Santos, as I mentioned, we have a very beautiful show. It's called The Men's mm. Desk, mm. where I would also want you probably to come and contribute get us into those groups also mm. you know and mm. talk to our men mm. let our men also feel like there's a space where one is a g express mm. eh? mm. yeah but before we uh, we get there well, well, is there anything you think we should have touched on that we did not I, touch on i think we covered almost mm. everything okay uh, and yes one other thing is we we usually have uh, something called state of the union eh? yeah where at times you you sit sit down and uh you analyze or you look you break down your your, your marriage yeah and see what is working mm. what is not working yes, yes. state very, of the very, union yes, mm. very very important wow mm. yeah, hey. yeah and how did i forget about that <laughs> very, very, very important yeah that you have to check are you moving 
forward, forward or backward are you stagnating mm-hmm. or are you going backwards mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. and it's important and depending mm-hmm. on whatever yes. wherever stage you are mm-hmm. in in whatever mm-hmm. area then what do you need to do to do yes, yes. what adjustments do you need yeah. to make so you can adjust yes. so that you can move forward yes i think that is very very important in every marriage mm-hmm. lovely yeah mm-hmm. yeah i love that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now uh, and on that note yes. Yes. um you know every marriage has vicious cycles of patterns okay like for example if what attacks your relationship is infidelity utakuta your guy will cheat the first time atakuja at apologize atakubaya simu ya 100000 you know then you'll you know you'll be you know remorseful okay. now you know then the next time after a few months there's another woman in the picture so when you're analyzing your relationship it's a way of getting clarity of the things that attack you kuna wale wanatakiwa ngona mutwa kuna wale wanabebongwa na maji so it's about just putting this space where you can see it and saying this is where we are going wrong mm. then allowing yourself to scrutinize bringing yes. the people who are knowledgeable about these things you know marriage it as i said it's about work and working and working there is no place you're going to be perfect mm. all you just need is to commit and say yes mm. i know you did this but i'm willing to give this marriage another I'm try not. otherwise if you're always lefting you will leave many other relationship because at any one point you'll be at a place where there's drama yes okay so being able to see mimi shida yangu inakuanga hii shida yangu inakuanga hii na shida yako inakuanga ni so when this happens this is what this is our our our, our cycle mm. you see mm. then you are able to what i say introduce a short circuit for example i will tell you about our cycle yes in this safe space yeah neza jam Okay, nifanye ka silent treatment day one. and you know usiku hata silali brain inagonga hivi like my god so hapo mlikuwa melala hapo katikati unaanza kuvuta kwenda towards the edge of the bed you know yes hoping that he'll notice yes mudu mungoroto gear kwanza ndio na they you do anapata and yes but if it up for him he sleeps very well you know they have me me see silala but he sleeps very well yes when they're having an argument i say apana this must be the money when you get an ambi ya mekazirika you know so day two nangoje anembe baby how can you notice mekazirika on your leshi you know so maybe i'm can the job ama kitu kama hiyo wait temperature from 36 and 39 you know just 40 you're bound to get epileptic you know on feet you know because the heat now has become too much so he knows If this thing continues up on you my parking zitaanza so by the ikifika day 7 yeah. venus the old <laughs> venus is like this marriage is not working yeah. in which house do you stay 7 days mtu mnakana ya kuongeleshi eh hapana this is too toxic I'm out. so umepack you're out but now where we are at now though that was venus in her 20s yes. now this is venus in her mid 40s yes. Leo I'm unhappy about something and I just see silent treatment I just keep quiet I'm not responding to him mm. the way I respond I'm very I'm, I'm so much you know I'm a person who has a lot of energy yeah. so ananiuza kitu na mwambie tu nothing unajua tu kitu nothing one word answers so yeye he knows that's now where we are at he's aware so atakuja sema the baby by the way enyewe auko sawa let's can talk. we talk oh. unaona so what he has done is introduced a short circuit to this vicious cycle that before was a threat but now because we have a clear picture of how it operates amekata so akiniambia let's talk so we now we start you know opening up oh you did this then he apologizes or whoever is in the wrong of me usema hata kama you're not on the wrong apologize when he apologizes i must apologize yes. you see because it's a two way thing okay yeah amesema okay fine ili ku hurt na mimi nasema okay i'm sorry because ata mimi i should not have maybe done, done what i've done right now yeah. ile kukunyama zesh should i just come you yes. know just that part of communication mm. and after that like for us we will hold hands and we will pray oh god because tumekoseana now we need to ask god because god is not happy mm. when that marriage is the way it is so we have to ask for forgiveness so that we can get favor from good. god you good. see so we have our own way of doing things and every marriage must has it ha, no um, marriage can be the same uh, copy paste of the other and the other marriage the challenges are always mm. different yes. but know your thing know what attacks you and create systems and structures 
that can be able to help you navigate around those times where unakuanga mkona shida mm. yes i love that yeah Ah, beautiful. Mm. Thanks for introducing the short circuit. Mm. <laughs> Asante sana. Mm. Venus, as you tell people where they can find you mm-hmm. before now, because I know a lot of people will want to get in touch with you guys, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. before you and Santos can tell people where they can find you, mm-hmm. uh, there's something we do when we have couples here on the show, uh-huh. because we love this and we live for this moment. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll start with Santos. You can look at her, and maybe you can just tell her. I know you tell her sweet things in the other <laughs> time. <laughs> But here on the show, maybe what do you looking at her? What would you want her to know? Um, I think I've, I've said this over and over again that mm-hmm. uh, um, I'll not be the half the man that I am without you in my life. I owe every single thing in my life to you. Um, you're my greatest fan, my greatest critic, uh, but most importantly, my best friend. Mm-hmm. And if I was to marry again mm-hmm. would, it would be you who would be my wife yes. thank you, you, you i'll choose you again mm-hmm. over and over and over mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. the love of my life mm-hmm. Thank you. Have that. I'm not sure. to when I met you, I was a very young girl, mm. very stupid, very, you know, but I loved God. And now where I am, first of all, I am more knowledgeable. I am empowered through what you have done for me in terms of supporting me. Now, I said it before, I thought I love you. But many years later, I know that I love you. And just like you, I would choose you again. Yeah. Yes, I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. It warms my heart. Mm-hmm. It restores, you know, it restores what am I, it restores the thing like in marriages that mm-hmm. they the work mm-hmm. the ho- it restores mm-hmm. hope in marriages mm-hmm. even me personally mm-hmm. i am tired mm-hmm. of just left right and center mm-hmm. seeing marriages falling mm-hmm. apart i want this for everyone mm-hmm. i want people to know that God did not create marriages so that they mm. can fail. Mm. He created them so that he's also up there looking and be like, good, look yeah. at my people. Mm. This is what I wanted. Mm. But as you have, you know, uh, boldly, openly expressed and told our people, it's not been a walk in mm. the park. It has had its own challenges. Mm-hmm. But look at how we've navigated. Mm. And I hope today everyone watching goes home asking themselves, mm. it's okay, things are not okay in my place. Mm. Things are not okay between my husband mm-hmm. or things are not okay with my wife mm-hmm. but how can we sit down mm-hmm. and ask mm-hmm. how, what can we do about mm-hmm. what can we do about this i appreciate you guys for coming as mm-hmm. i said earlier when we were talking mm-hmm. i love it mm-hmm. when i get to be able also feel happy mm-hmm. about something and see you know god is still there winning and saying these are my people mm-hmm. and i wanted marriages mm-hmm. to work mm-hmm. and i know so many marriages today mm-hmm. will work because of how open you guys have been yeah. with today's conversation mm-hmm. and I can't wait to have you guys again on the show mm-hmm. as the people in the comment section tell us what they would want you to come and tackle mm-hmm. so before we conclude uh, before I can tell my people by where can people find you for those who would want to get in touch with you mm-hmm. even before we can have you back on the episodes for mm-hmm. both of you okay so um, as I said uh, because I travel so much yeah. I am normally available on call and yes. on the sessions are normally on zoom I used yes. to have a physical office in yeah. Karen yeah uh, but of course COVID came with its own challenges yes um so basically right now i'm doing zoom yes. uh sessions yeah. and uh, i'll just give my, out my number okay. whoever is out there if you're going through a space that you don't really understand mm-hmm. reach out let's yes. talk um so i'm on 0722 816167 i'll repeat again 0722 816167 now on social media pages yes i go by the name the mind spa yeah the mind spa Sasa mimi ni ule mama technology aki. 
subscribe our YouTube. Okay, I think ni 200. So, <laughs> you are on YouTube. <laughs> only I'm on YouTube. Okay, you Tell know them mama the animaliza. So I am hmm? um, um I, I go by the name the mice but on all pages yes. Twitter, yeah. Facebook, you know, you can find LinkedIn. Uh you'll find me yeah. you know uh, by the name the mind spa. Yeah. Um so if you can just subscribe to my channel I have by the way I have content I've, I've done videos on uh, marriage I've done videos on depression there's a lot that I give freely Imagine and every coming. Sunday yeah I actually do Zoom sessions free mental health talks where we talk about parenting so many things that surround us as people yeah. So if you're listening to me and uh, maybe you, you want to build yourself first of all as an individual yes. please subscribe to my channel I'm going to pay more Tisha Yeah um so that i can keep on you know uh you know giving more content i do, I, i don't believe in really can i say charging people though yes. i know you must also you know where you pay for something you 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 push okay so sometimes i'll tell you pay sometimes i do yes. sessions for free. like during yeah. covid by the lean a whole during that covid season i was mm-hmm. doing sessions for free mm-hmm. counseling session kuja niambie what you need yes. so it's not really about you know the cash per se it's about building you because when you become you know uh, you know well mentally healthy you're able to achieve so much including generating income you know that can sustain you and your family mm-hmm. so we start at that basic place but please please if you can hit that subscribe Aki button ya kama hata ni drop yetu ka comment hapo <laughs> <laughs> akiwa na kuja ya do you know <laughs> people even tell me why well, yeah. you know why don't you i, I don't know maybe si ni vile tu tumeleta you know another generation yes. like my kids are so you know hands mm. on with things my mm. son does everything yes. for me but mimi mwenyewe tu i'm a bit you know so um maybe when the audience grows i'll i'll give more content yes. and you know without really you know uh putting any borders you know yes. we talk about everything but i have I have at least enough uh, you know uploads that yes. are there. Maybe you can just listen to the content, give me feedback. You can always text me, you can always WhatsApp me. The number I've given is for WhatsApp. Yes. But yes, let us not die with our issues. Hakuna mali mtu anaweza kuwa perfect. Good. Yes. Santos, <laughs> where can people find you? Uh you can get me on my line yes. 0722842424. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 0722842424. Uliongea na safari kwa mwana kufeywa. Yes. My child of God. Kuisha. Kwa tu your number. Iwachukue tu your number. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Do you have we'll, any other uh, platforms where they I'm can on, reach you? On Facebook yes. on the name Santos yeah. Chengo, yeah. I'm also on LinkedIn, yeah. Santos Chengo C. Mm. Uh, most on Twitter same same yeah, same with chengo chengo is k y e n g o yes yeah. yeah thank you mm. it's good to know it's chengo yes. you know yes. some of us we were busy there <laughs> ah, i've called venus chengo and i'm like ah. <laughs> <laughs> then i'll chengo yeah. so thank you so much guys yeah. for joining us and thank honestly you. i i can't wait to have you mm. more on our episodes no. you know we have to be able kushikana mm. so that we are able to build an impactful nation together oh, yes. so i can't yes. thank you guys enough for coming mm. and thank, thank you for being very open very vulnerable with us and very honest mm-hmm. with Thank us you. we appreciate the honesty Thank and you. of course once again both of you you look lovely yeah nipo ametupea challenge Thank challenge you. acceptance ni sawa yes and to you my people i really want you guys to tell me what you think about today's conversation as you've had it's the first one that director edu you no know, chieng decided you know what my heart is burning let me ask a question eh? so i also want you guys to tell me what you think of today's conversation what your take home what have you learned what other topics do you think this couple can help us address individually or together what more of these conversations guys do you want because i say my job even as i sit here is to be god's vessel and i want to know that even by the time i'm leaving this world mm-hmm. i've done the best that i can to mm-hmm. impact the community so you guys also um work with me let me know what you think and what other conversations that we are watching uh, that you, you would want to watch here on this platform and to everyone who is watching us and maybe your marriage is breaking apart and maybe you know you just left your marriage yesterday and things did not work out and you know you've lost hope mm-hmm. and you know you're in that whatsapp group where a majority of other uh, people are saying marriage sucks and everyone has their own reasons mm-hmm. and you're in pain right now i just want you to look back and see there is hope 
whether you decide to go back or not, whether you decide to work things out or not. Mm -hmm. I just want you to look at today's story and see that there is hope when people decide we can talk, we can sit and we can communicate. Mm -hmm. And of course, as you've heard, it's not a walk in the park, but it's very much doable because again, God did not create marriages so that they might, mm -hmm. so that they might fail. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, I, 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 honestly, I appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you being active participants of the show. We don't take your support for granted. We are looking back and we are almost at 500k subscribers and we would not have done this without you guys. And also to my incredible team, my camera person and director, the legendary Edwin Ochieng. Thank you so much for everything you do on the show, bro. For every commitment you have on the show. You are just the most committed person I know. Thank you for everything you do here on the show. And our incredible editor and graphics designer, Kelvin M. Thank you for everything you do for compiling this episode and making sure that it reaches our audience right on time. My name is Lynn Googie. Thank you so much for having us. May God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye.